Ladies and gentlemen, we have a treat for you today. This absolutely stunning 2008 Prevo Marathon Coach and Stacker Trailer are on the market. And we're hanging out here at Premium Coach Group, and there's the famous Rhiannon. And how are you doing today, ma'am? Good. Hi. How are you, Andrew? Excellent. Good to see you. Likewise. So, <laughs> what's this coach behind us? Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite coaches. It's a 2008 uh, H345 Prevo Marathon. Really great ownership history. Um, tons of custom stuff uh, done to this coach. It has all kinds of really great things in it. Yeah, the first thing I'm noticing about this coach is this really awesome entertainment area. I want to ask you more about this whole kind of, I've heard it's like a fondue area, but first, this coach has a matching stacker trailer. Let's take a look at that first. This does have the Detroit Series 60 in it, and it's uh, it's pre-emissions. No particular filter, so that, that was a, an adjustment that was made in 2008 in Marathon. All right, so the thing I like about this stacker trailer is it's got the design that matches the coach, really stunning, and there's just all kinds of detail work here within the design as well. A uh, really cool color scheme here. So this is definitely the ultimate way to haul your toys around here. Uh, Rhiannon, do you know anything about this uh, stacker trailer? What's the story on it, ma'am? Uh, well, it's a 22 foot. I think that it's been used honestly once. <laughs> Only used once. Yeah, it's a, so the coach is equipped with a buddy plug. Um, so you can power up your, your stacker trailer with your coach. It definitely looks like it's never been used. I believe this is an ATC trailer and uh, it's got the, the lift here, all nice cabinets here. I love the, the black automotive paint and you know these AC, ATC trailers, you can really feel the quality when you open and close all these cabinets. You've got your workbench area over here. Not only does it have the side door over here, but it also has this door that kind of flips down. So if you have like a supercar or something that's really hard to get out of, you can open that up and then exit out the side of the coach. Rhiannon, I think this coach is set up to go to like Sturgis or Glamis. Looks like someone's got a sand car over there. We're uh... <laughs> It's ready to go. It's definitely a showstopper. You guys have a lot of other coaches, not just this marathon coach. Looks like a King Air, a Liberty, another marathon, a country coach, Newell coach over there. How? Uh, we have a signature, Monaco signature. Uh, Monaco signature. This one's really beautiful as well. Um, let's see, what else do we have? A country coach intrigue. Uh, we have a Beaver Marquis 2008, low mile, 600 horsepower. Lots of inventory, but today it's all about this marathon coach. So I really love the underglow lighting. What's some other cool stuff going on with this coach? Uh, this is your water pump, uh, water station. Um, this coach, you'll really have high pressure water all the time, just like your house. Yeah. It has a 180 gallon water tank. It uh, looks like this bay is your entertainment bay. I really like how the TV swivels, get your speakers up here, real simple, but really a nice design that really matches the exterior paint scheme with the blacks and browns. Uh, but now this, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this on another coach. Have you, I know you see a lot of Prevos coming and going here at Premium Coach Group. Have you ever seen anything like this? No, I think that it's a completely custom, never been done before. This is a fondue burner on the top of this, really cool. It has a double uh, deep freeze over here. And then you have an electric outside grill. <laughs> and one other thing I noticed out here is this really cool lighting. And I like on this bay, how that light gets a lot taller when you open that bay and bring this out. So it's almost like you have a light just for this area. right? I've got to spin around here. I've got to try on, uh, I've got to try out this table for size here just to get an idea of how comfortable this is. This is, it's, it's, it looks very appealing. Oh, you want to grab the camera there? Sure. All right. <laughs> I think I might just hang out outside here, Rian, and you want to just show the rest of the coach. <laughs> All right. Um, it's 
It's definitely yeah. really cool for entertaining, honestly. Yeah, no, this really is cool. And then uh, one thing I like to point out is this is marathon coach embroidery on all these four chairs. So one of the other things I've got to point out that marathon coach does is they have kind of a higher profile on the front of the coach. Some of the other converters just leave it flat, but it's got that really good look up there. This coach only has right around 78,000 miles and the coach and stacker trailer are listed for 700 grand. What a deal. Wow, what a stunning interior. What's going on in here, Rhiannon? Isn't this beautiful? This is all remodeled. All black granite was just put in. Um, it has two new air conditionings and a couple of the Crestrons, I think, have been updated. So, yeah, I'll be honest, you know, the, the high gloss floors really look nice. The new black floors, I like the darker leather, the nice granite countertops. But to be completely honest, I think just changing this pattern, it's kind of a little bit dated on the embroidery. If you switch that to something a little more neutral, I personally think it would really make it look like a new coach. Do you have any thoughts on that, Rhiannon? I'm right there with you. I think that the uh, fabric could definitely use some attention. Uh, not my first choice, and it's pretty dark, you know. Uh, neutral's always best. Yeah, but other than that, really, uh, really nice neutral colors. Kind of like a suede uh, ceiling here. Back to the cockpit area here. I like that it's a little bit, you know, below the rest of the coach. You've got a nice granite countertop area here. And then of course these nice stair uh, stairs down. Now, Rhiannon, have you driven this coach? And, and how often do you drive Prevost? Yeah, I have driven this coach. I drive them all. I take all of my customers on test drives. I'm very comfortable with it. I prefer the XL just because I like to be up higher, but it's a Prevost, they drive wonderfully. Have you had a chance to drive one of the 2021 Newell coaches yet? No. You'll have to check, you'll have to check out my test drive video on that. I'll leave a link in the description below. <laughs> Very ergonomic uh, cockpit area over here. And of course that marathon emblem on the steering wheel, but still analog gauges here. Very simple. Uh, you do have that digital screen off to your right here, reading light here. And the leather here on the driver's chair is in pretty good shape overall. So what else is going on in this coach? Well, you know, it's a marathon. I absolutely love marathon coaches, um, especially over any production line coach. The windows, you get so much when you have these kind of windows in a coach that are closed right now. Um, it, the feeling of when you close the doors, the, they're soundproof, they stay cool. Uh, everything's bigger and better built and just the quality. You can just walk in and feel the quality in this machine. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, the large windows, and I will point out uh, how good of shape these blinds are in. Uh, right now we have all of the blinds down. I do like some of the stuff Marathon Coach does, like these little art recesses with a globe here. And then you do have a, a TV inside the slide out. And what I really like about this is when you're going down the road and the slide out comes in, you're and, and obviously you, you can't put... There's a big flip down TV here. You can't put that down while you're going down the road. But if someone wanted to just kind of chill out on this couch and watch TV as they're going down the road, great positioning for that. And this valance here really seems to be catching my eye. Really a cool modern pattern, way ahead of its time. And, and the styling on this coach really is one of the better, better styled marathon coaches I've seen. So, so a really cool floor plan here, how you have the two kind of recliners with almost like a desk area over here. Looks like there's some storage underneath there. L-shaped couch on the driver's side uh, with kind of a booth uh, style area here off to the passenger side. And about the galley area here, uh, what kind of equipment is in it? Let's open up these drawers. Okay, so you have a lot of space here. Everything's on a nice pullout very large storage compartments for all your pots and pans. <sighs> oh yeah, totally lined with carpet. Yeah. And I'll point out that there's just a small little kind of a bow uh, in that cabinet. 
but when everything closes it's all completely flush and um, this cabinet door has a little bit more of a dramatic curve to it um, and then you know the and then of course the drawers are the same thing lined with carp just really over the top build quality a vantium uh convection uh, oven people love that it comes with tons of recipes okay gaganaw cooktop just a lot of countertop space too i'll point out really a a nice area if i was you know preparing food you can never have too much countertop space yeah so. and there's nothing you know intruding your head space here i like that because you can utilize all of this counter space absolutely so tons of storage here uh, again all totally lined with carpet and i've got to say that this carpet is really in good condition every cabinet that we're opening up up uh just you can tell that you know they're not all you know, just tons of stains are throttled out. Definitely, this coach has been well maintained. I like all the little details, like the, the lighting around the granite countertop there. Oh, let's see. I can unlock that. Just kidding. Uh -oh. Just kidding. <laughs> you started a dish, uh, a, a cycle of. Uh... <laughs> Let me look closer. Now the new ones, you've got a knock on. Oh, Chab can do it. There we go. Fisher Pickel <laughs> dishwasher. Cookie sheet. Okay. Tray, lots of drawers, lots of storage. And I've got to point out that the cabinets are really in excellent condition. And it's kind of a nice, kind of a light blonde color. Or what would you call this color here? Yeah, an almond. I mean, I, yeah, because if your hair is blonde, <laughs> uh, it's definitely, definitely different, different tone of blonde. Yeah. Uh, they go with everything. They're not too loud of a color or, you know, anybody could like these not too dark not too light yeah i love the mirrors yeah lots of you know full length mirrors as well uh that's you know something important just a lot of rvs have mirrors but to have that full length really helps and what what was behind that uh here's where you have your stack washer and dryer nice convenient spot right next to the bedroom yeah huge shower there lots of space um, it's got that little uh, little shelf there, totally finished out from floor to ceiling. Uh, the head area over here has its own little uh, little room with its separate sink. Again, a lot of storage here in the the head area. I love this little towel rack. It's oh, all yeah. about the little things. Um, every single nook and cranny, uh, you have to plan for your trip and utilize every bit of space that you have in your coach. Absolutely. So, a uh, second sink back here too and i've got to point out just a lot of countertop space i like the uh i like the style of this rear bedroom here again fully lined with carpet looks like a queen size bed it is a queen okay however uh there's room here to make an adjustment you could put a little bigger of a bed in here okay yeah, it definitely has, you know, plenty of room on both sides of the bed. I'll point out you've got countertop space and then here's all of your controls. And then you're going to have a lot of wardrobe space. And I like how it's got the drawers here inside of the closet. I mean, really just a nicely finished off area here. These are really deep. Yeah, a lot of... A <laughs> lot of storage above the bed here, and as Rhiannon said, very deep. I don't know, it's kind of yeah, dark. You use a light. I yeah, like that. that is one thing. Maybe some lights would help in there, but I think just to stack linens or towels or whatnot, not a bad use of the space there. The nice area, you know, here in the, in the kitchen, just a second sink, uh, more mirrors, and then, of course, if you close this bedroom door here, it's... Oh, whoops, that's the lights. Uh... Where's the door button? Door. Oh, bedroom, bedroom door. You've got to be smarter than the outlets. When you close that door, you can see you've got a full length mirror and really on both sides. So a really wide and full length mirror. Rhiannon, you have plenty of room to get ready. If you needed to get ready in this bedroom, you'd have plenty of mirrors. Absolutely. Girls love mirrors. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. And and I'll point out that, you know, when I press that button, it just 
closes really softly, really gentle. Uh, there is carpet here in the bedroom. Now it is covered up, but I can tell that it's like a really high end carpet with like a texture to it below that plastic wrap. I think the TV could probably use an update. It looks uh, ancient. Uh, easy to do. TVs are so inexpensive uh, that if somebody were interested in updating stuff like that, uh, we do it all the time. Yeah, you definitely want to get a smart TV installed so you can watch YouTube on your TV. <laughs> I'd recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good size uh, closet back here. You've got a lot of wardrobe. And again, all of your components inside of the closet here. Direct TV, and I like how Marathon just finishes out every square inch. You've got drawers as well in your rear closets. Yeah. Nice. Uh, do you know anything about the tech link? No, you want to tell us? Yeah. yeah. So, Marathon has um, something called tech link. Super awesome. Uh, it, it's up here. This comes down. If you ever have an issue, they can remotely diagnose your coach send you the fix for it which is like a little plug and play okay uh, it's it's really unique so it's set up to be easy to get to any little problems you have can be fixed back there usually yeah yep. awesome and you can do it yourself so Rhiannon, I can't thank you and the team at premium coach group enough for letting me and the folks out on YouTube see this gorgeous Prevo marathon coach if someone is a serious buyer who should they get a hold of Contact the store, premiumcoachgroup.com. Our inventory is always changing. Uh, we have trade, we take trade-ins, we do financing, uh, we can consign your coach. It always helps you to get a little bit more money instead of uh, trading in. Our inventory is always changing. If you have a Highline uh, diesel pusher that you want to sell, we can also give you a cash bid on it. Well, can't thank you enough again. And I greatly appreciate all of you out there liking these videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Have a great day. Always good having you, Andrew. Uh -huh.